I recently got a BBC micro bit and I wanted to do a simple project just to try it out really so uh, I decided to do a dice roller or a dice simulator whatever you want to call it uh, I know I'm not the first person to do this I know there's a, another couple of tutorials online covering it but I wanted to do a video about it and uh, I thought maybe I could add a couple of features to it as well so uh, well first of all let's see it run um, this is it I'm running it on the simulator at the moment um, I just don't think there's any real need to run it on the on the real thing because it doesn't it doesn't require any um, connections or anything. So uh, let's see how it goes. Um, button A selects between six-sided dice and twelve-sided dice. So that's that, that's the extra feature on this. Uh, you can you can have a twelve-sided die. Um, I could have added even more numbers that die of different sides I haven't done that yet um, but I thought perhaps you know if you're into tabletop gaming or something like that this it might be kind of handy feature to have uh, so yes you switch between uh, which uh, which dice you wanna you want to use and then hit button B you get a little animation and you get your number and do it again same thing if you select the 12 sided die there you go. You get, you get your number. Uh, with the twelve-sided die, I got a bit creative with the patterns. I suppose I could have just had a number um, shown on the LEDs, uh, but I decided to uh, go with the same pattern as the six-sided die and came up with these uh, these extra dot patterns. That's a is that a twelve? It, that's the problem with it. It's, it's difficult to count, but anyway, it works. So let's take take a look at the code. Uh, so to begin with, we've got a big forever loop. Uh, oh, this is done in the blocks editor, by the way. Um, I could have done it in Python, but I thought I'd give the blocks editor a bit of a try. I've never used it before. Um, it seems okay so far. Uh, so starting out, we've got a forever block, uh, which just <laughs> runs the code forever. Uh, and then the very first thing it does after that is uh, initialize it. So we've got set side number. That's a variable that I've created uh, to six. So it uh, starts out with a six-sided die, and then it shows the LEDs uh, with a number six on it to to indicate that that's what it is. And then we go into the main body of it, and this part here. Uh, allows you to select between different types of die so I've got um, if button A is pressed and the side number is 6 which it will be to begin with after it's been initialized then you set the side number to 12 uh, and then the next block if button A is pressed and the side number is currently at 12 it sets it back to 6 and those two uh, statements there allow you to switch between different numbers of die different numbers of sides uh, so if you if you wanted to add more sides uh, it, you could fairly easily um, add extra blocks there to do that then the next part is the bit that actually selects the random number for the for the die and uh, displays it on the screen so we start out with the uh, six sided and we have if button B is pressed because that, that rolls the dice uh, and if button B is pressed and the side number is 6 then we uh, set the die value that's the that's the number that comes up set that to pick random 0 to 5 plus 1 now with the blocks editor if you want to have a random number uh, it has to be a whole number and it has to be from a range of 0 to something you can't have 1 to something has to start at zero so um, I, I could have done it another way but uh, I did it this way just to make it a bit easier when coding it pick a random number zero to five and then add one to it you get a number from one to six that just seemed like the, the simplest thing to do then we have the little animation which isn't hugely impressive but it sort of <laughs> adds a bit of drama I suppose uh, repeat four times and we've got uh, three different patterns of dots 
uh, each one with a pause of 100 milliseconds between it uh, and so effectively you get these patterns of dots flashing and you it if you add up the all the pauses it takes just over a second so you get a, you got a little second in between pressing the button and the number appearing uh, then we go on to the uh, bit that shows the correct number so we've got the die value uh, variable which I set up before um, and with the random number if it's one show that pattern it's two show that pattern etc 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 these are these are just show image blocks um, showing the relevant pattern then we go on to the 12 sided die and um, it works exactly the same way except if button B is pressed and the side number is 12 we set the die value to random number from 0 to 11 plus 1 to make it from 1 to 12 and then um, we have uh, again the little flashy animation thing and it th then shows the correct image for whatever numbers picked if it's one then this one and so on and so forth uh, and of course being a 12 sided die I had to do 12 uh, different images as I said before I got a bit creative with the patterns I didn't know what else to do uh, I suppose I could have uh, displayed it as digits but it uh, you know be, because you can only fit one digit on the screen at once it would have scrolled and it might have made it a bit more difficult to read so I didn't bother doing it and that's that um, if you wanted to add extra dies or if you wanted to say do a, a coin toss you could just have uh, uh, two two sides heads and tails or you could have you know ten eight however many sides you wanted to do uh, you could add that fairly easily one thing I should say uh, here is uh, one thing that made the program a bit longer than it needed to be um, was this um, pick random thing as I said before it's got to be a whole number and it starts from zero but it, you can't put in a variable I couldn't have put pick random from 0 to side number uh, it won't let you do that, it's got to be a number if I could have done that, I could have made the program a bit shorter in fact just this one uh, section here would have done if it was set to uh, 6 uh, you just would have picked from these 6, the other ones wouldn't have mattered uh, if it's set to 12 then it potentially can use them all So. I, if I'd have thought about it a bit more, maybe I could have still shortened it, but the obvious way of shortening it uh, didn't work. But it works pretty well. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, as I say, it would be fairly easy to um, uh, to to add extra numbers in there if, if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, you could probably fairly easily come up with a slightly nicer animation. I suppose what you could do is have it flashing up different numbers um, uh, instead of just a, a random pattern. Um, and of course you could fairly easily add a sound or whatever you wanted to do. Um, so that's that.